This is uh, uh, basically a digital review radio uh, shout-out. For those of you looking for uh, a digital radio, I, I like listening to the radio myself. Uh, I got rid of my cable and I put an antenna up in the air. So consequently, some of the things uh, started off with sports, I guess, because you're listening to sports radio if you want to watch the game. But there's plenty of other things on the radio that you can listen to, obviously, uh, be it uh, talk or sports, <laughs> music or a menagerie of uh, all that. So here's what I have discovered after uh, making some eBay purchases, secondhand store, uh, and uh, watching other YouTube videos about uh, people reviewing other products. Sorry for the lighting. It's kind of dark, but these have started off, as you can see, as uh, clock radios, because generally a clock radio is small, it has uh, AM, FM band, and so and to place in a uh, place in a put in a place that you know your listening habits uh, dictate or something. That's just where it's uh, gone from there. Rather than somebody saying, "Oh well, obviously, where's your a Pioneer stereo? It's in the uh, living room." But why aren't you have that up with the uh, rest of uh, Sony and whatever, rather than clock radios but anyway to start off with this one here you can see it's uh, or sort of see it's insignia brand that's a little better uh, thing that jumping out at it, uh, you right away is well geez you know I can't uh, see it very well it's uh, it's white in color but gee, the numbers I can just tell uh, looking through the phone that uh, I can't see that but with a magic click Oof, geez, we can really see that now. If you had that on right now, you could uh, probably see it across the room. Go out for something else. Even brighter yet, that's not even coming uh, up on the screen. And that's the first thing that I found uh, with this radio. The display on it isn't... Uh, it is very obviously very bright. It's got a couple of uh, settings that you can uh, change. You're thinking, ah, well, I'm picking that up on uh, uh, the video uh, for the video. That definitely not. And this is what I found using this particular model. Now, the interesting thing about this is it has projector or projection. If I can get it to uh, work here and shoot just barely picking it up I'm sorry this is where all of a sudden it gets to be if we can make the room suddenly darker it's not working light switches everywhere anyway you can see that that is uh that there so you don't necessarily have to use the front light scrolling up you can move it mount it to the ceiling so that is kind of a, a good uh, uh, offset to this because this model here and it's panning over this one which I will get to in my opinion have both have the same problem that when the display is at fully this one particular there a little brighter for a bedside table radio it is really bright. They uh, it creeps. If you wanted to light up the room, you keep them on the, both the full power. And I even find uh, with this one that it, uh, even on the medium range, is still too much. So the handiness of this one being able to display there, you can just barely get it. Um, and it does come through a bit like that. Apologies on the video. Uh, really really helps next thing you know you're looking at a digital radio what what uh, anything that you can shout out on this one I guess this is why you need to do this more in the light so that you can see the various buttons on this one it doesn't have a very wide uh, snooze button turn the radio on
they don't have independent uh, presets across the uh, top this one that's either got like uh, manual tune there you go manual tune I think if you hold it down it will continue to uh, scan then you've got uh, presets I just plug this in so I don't think any of them are uh, really uh, set I don't think I had any, just a first couple. But the uh, one thing that I'm uh, right now, it is kind of hard to hit the just the toggle up and toggle down on this particular model. Radio itself, turn it up a bit. I guess it's not bad uh, sound quality uh, associated with it. There's got to be a band button on here someplace. So your 530 or your AM band goes uh, goes through. But the buttons themselves, kind of small. Um, ease of uh, setting the clock and such on them. Uh, I like to switch over to this one. Uh in my opinion, this is the best radio uh, that I've been able to find. It doesn't have a light switch sense, but the one thing that I like about it the best, it's, uh, what is it? Sony ICF C793 is the uh, model number, is that it does have the uh, preset buttons running along the top, uh, five of them. Uh, this one I bought at the second-hand store. It must have been knocked over. You can see the one little button there. Or the preset is it works. It's just broken. And unfortunately, as a sidebar, the volume on the side is broken as well. But it just happened to be broken at the perfect level for a bedside table. So that's why I have it. It's, and uh, the, the main radio that I can show to, to you is that it's got five presets, either of which can be AM or FM. There's only five of them, you know, not toggling between another button like AM and then FM1, FM2. Hopefully people are recognizing that. It just has five, but it can be AM or FM. I like it the best, or that the best, simply because you can... Uh, I listen to sports, I listen to talk, I listen to music. And between those five things, I can get uh, with an AM, an instantaneous AM or FM band change. Uh, on it this one here I just got it uh, off of eBay uh, sound quality I think uh, they're both uh, very similar they're both Sony product uh, these ones are uh, all three are uh, Sony product getting this one here in a second but the ease of which this one here oh you need to set your alarm ding you can just press the uh, uh, two minute hands and such the alarm time one is a plus the other is a minus and scroll up to whatever alarm the uh, the a uh, side is the alarm or both are and the b is the buzzer so a is radio and then b is buzzer if you needed an independent or another time You'd really recognize the difference between alarm and buzzer. And you just uh, turn it off and off like that so easy. The one thing that you can see different from it than the others is that uh, it is higher. Uh, I'm wondering that's how it maybe got knocked uh, off because you're fumbling around looking for something. Uh, uh, and all of a sudden, you know, it got uh, knocked over. Um on i think the sound quality on this one's uh really decent going back to this one you've got your uh, preset buttons running along the top too but it they're in the manner of like the am only and then fm and fm2 whereas you know again going back to it you've got am fm at the click of a finger uh this one going through the motions of uh, actually setting the time. I should do that in this video, but I, I would just go through in the essence of sparing you, like I'm already scrolling ahead type of thing. It is a long process to set the clock and use the features on it. The big upside that this one has 
is that you've got your different levels of brightness for the uh, oh changed changed again you can't see it because it's just on the uh, fascia time and then pop it up again that's the brightest setting and it basically matches the one to my right with that one you know they're they're both pretty even but this one does have the ability when you press your alarm button is that you can use one of your you can program one of your presets to your uh, wake up alarm uh, myself it'd be nice to mix it up a little bit I don't need to listen to the same thing 365 days a year the only problem that I have with it is that this this one here only as long as you use the first preset that's your alarm whereas this one you've got to go through a whole process you can select it but the amount of time that it takes to program it to get oh well I want to wake up to something else tomorrow you're never going to do that because it's too much buggering around whereas this again just make any of the five the preset the last one that you click uh, on listening to you just simply turn it off and that's what you're going to wake up to in the morning they're already doing it with the first preset like they have to be able to do it to the others this one as you can see a very a bright uh, light tone it down to the second one this one's cool because it displays the uh, temperature I find most of the features pretty easy to use. You got your volume, you've got your presets there. Again, the preset being that you have to select the band and then it gives you your AM and FM. Out of these four, the only one that again that does it that it only has 5. These two here have many more and I can't remember these this one over here has a separate AM and FM too. Um uh you know something about make it happen last but not least scrolling through the room is this one over here uh, it's another Sony clock radio here the one thing that I like about this one is that even though it's an analog uh, the numbers are bright and you can easily see this one from across the room these other ones sometimes even with the uh, backlight lighting if your if your doorway was in the corner and your bedside table is in the opposite corner a quick glance into the room i can always tell apologies for uh that friggin light that's wrecking it you can always see uh, uh the numbers like it's a perfect clock telling um alarm clock that if you didn't even was worrying about the time and just wanted to use the radio you can leave the analog radio and unplug it if you're only ever listening to one station but if you want to listen to multiple stations right now I think I'm going to start using this one as my new alarm side table this one I like to shout it out as an everyday listening radio not just a, a bedside table simply because if you placed it in your garage or your shop and you're like me it's oh geez the sports is on oh geez oh I want to listen to the music oh geez I want to get mad at the political scene oh geez well in order to do that you've got to be clicked just like a television clicking back and forth instantaneously from station to station irrelevant of band that's the that's the big importance there so I spent a little over a hundred dollars on clock radios trying to find them this thing is uh, an eBay uh, special it's a decent little uh, pocket radio but they uh, messed up the uh, order and it, it's got the band selector but it goes up by nines or something it is so it's made for uh, your uh, the AM band is set up for European AM band well I'm rocking here in North America so that's not uh, gonna help my cause but for a little pocket radio I was really surprised actually when it came how small it actually was and something again that's a digital tuner apologies on that analog one over there but I wanted to say something about the ease of which you can see the numbers and uh, if you were just looking at something to uh, again just plug in and plug out and you've got that station just already programmed you weren't necessarily worrying about the time man the other against Sony and 
four of these radios are Sony product. The other two being this one is your... Everyone knows where this was shipped from. And then this one is uh, Insignia. So for uh, hopefully a review that isn't too long, going through the motions of uh, programming or setting the clock, this one isn't bad. You've got uh, your time set, sorry for the blurry, uh, volume, like it actually is uh, a decent unit. The only thing I don't like about it, again, is the backlighting. Both settings, both sets of lights, for me anyways, are both still too bright. Uh, this one was made with a little uh, thing in the bottom that you could actually plug it into your cell phone and use it as uh, uh, literally as a speaker rather than your Bluetooth speaker. Then you know you've you've got this thing. It it, it the backlighting is uh, on the higher setting is almost so bright that you could use it as a as a light. Nice big easy uh, snooze bar to use. The one snooze on this one you can see the off the on and then the snooze they're all circles if you're fumbling around just for all of a sudden that just oh that was a circle you might find yourself cutting off the snooze or shutting off the snooze and oh, geez it didn't wake you up again and I think this one's 10 minutes this one's 10 my old analog radio over there was nine um, no this might be eight minutes and this one might be 10. I can't remember. The minute ranges uh, change uh, on them. So, what's the outro on the digital radio or view? How are you going to make your listening count? And what type of radio do you need where to fully take advantage of, you know, AM, FM band to say, like, I need... Hopefully this clears the picture so you don't have to go through how much in the way of uh, digital radios to find the perfect one. I got to make a Sony shout out and say we just need to take this sucker here, just refine it just a little bit more, and you've got something that will blow everybody away. Thanks.